AI is not going to replace humans. Humans with AI will replace humans that don't use AI. AI is thrilling, it's very exciting, but there is a non-zero chance that it poses a uh, existential threat to the human race. So over the next three to five years, how disruptive do you think it will be and what are people not prepared for? I think that's an excellent question. So, you know, the future is always hard to predict and existential is a big word. Existential means no more humans. So I personally think the AI will be absolutely fine. As a base case, it'll be like that movie Her, if it ever gets this artificial general intelligence. Like, humans are kind of boring, goodbye and thanks for all the GPUs. But you could be wrong, because what we're doing is creating something that's more capable than us in narrow fields. So that will be disruptive. And then, like I said, any type of knowledge work will be disruptive. How and we're not sure how fast... knowledge work because when so my own self uh what we do is education that's a big part of it but yeah. also just content creation and so when i look at the fact that we can already clone my voice yeah. we can already create a tom bot that will answer questions i have answered before in a very similar fashion to how i will answer them in our video game flow uh, we're already making 3d objects which so when we looked at, I don't know, two months ago, I thought, okay, this is still 12 to 18 months away, 45 days later, we're using it actively in yeah. our pipeline. Um, you've got text to video, which still a little awkward, but it's getting better insanely fast. We do all of our concept art now in, um, in AI. So we have, as a company that doesn't even have like a, an AI expert on board, we're just learning as we go, we're already deploying it like crazy. And when I look out, not even, you know, three years, when I look out a year, all of this stuff starts to very rapidly become a centralized point. And so we're already saying, I don't need to hire more people. I just need to make my people more efficient. Yeah. And so that an entertainment company didn't even make the list that you just said. So there's a lot of people that I think are gonna get disrupted by this uh, that may not be like the most extreme, but how far down do you see this trickling? Anything you can do in front of a computer, basically. Goes away or just becomes augmented? The bar lifts. The quality expectations are higher. AI is not going to replace humans. Humans with AI will replace humans that don't use AI. There was a paper by OpenAI where they estimated 15 to 50% of tasks get automated or improved. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it affects people in different ways. You have a company where you've built a culture and you, again, you're building 3D assets. It becomes amazingly more efficient. We just released, uh, we contributed and collaborated on a 10 million 3D object data set. So by next year, you'll be generating 3D literally live. In a couple of years, you'll have HD movies. We can finally remake Game of Thrones season eight and other such travesties, you know? But the speed of this is something whereby it's happening in every media type at the same time, and it's easy to use. Yeah, so I'll agree with that. I think that, so I guess, let me lay out my whole thesis for you and for everybody listening, because I want to take us through what I think is very real doom and gloom, and I'm not doing it to be a naysayer. I'm yeah. doing it because I think these are going to be the things we have to contend with. And if people go into this blindly, which I think they're doing right now, I think most people are burying their head in the sand. They're not paying attention to this, and they're going to wait until something really forces their hand, and by then it's too late. Right now, for the next year, let's call it, uh, it's going to be you need to learn how to use it. This will be yeah. your window to get efficient. Companies probably aren't gonna start lopping people off yet. But I'll just say within my own company, so when I think about filmmaking, I went to film school, so I'm, I'm very experienced in this flow. And even in a 3D world to create, um, a, let's say a short cinematic. So it's like a mini movie, but done digitally. I mean, you might have 35 people touch that thing from the creation of the assets through the moving of the camera, special effects. You might have 50 people touch that. And if that really does become text to output, now 50 people become one. Yeah. And so when you get a 50 to one ratio in certain areas, obviously it's not gonna be like that everywhere, but when you have certain areas that go from 50 to one, take programmers. I've heard you say, pro there will be no programmers because writing code is just a way to talk to a computer. And if you have AI that will interface with the computer for you, why would you ever need to write code? So that that's gonna steamroll through society. That is just gonna mow people over. So again, I'll give them 12 months, but 
Even in my own company, if you're not actively trying to find a way to integrate it into your job function, I'm already looking at you sideways. A year from now, if you're not really good at either documenting how it is completely useless in your job function or showing how you're using it, we will find somebody that can do it. I'll be shocked if a year from now we don't have a head of AI. So three years from now, I think this has created a crisis of meaning for a lot of people. And I don't know if you remember that, the whole learn to code yep. uh, thing where it was like, hey, AI is gonna put drivers out of work. They're gonna be the first to go. And everybody was like, teach them how to code. Now, the way people responded to that always confused me because that was the right answer at the time. Now, knowing yeah. what I know about code replacing, not so much, but you have to go learn a new skill. There, There is no other option other than going on the dole, right? So you're either gonna learn something new or you're just gonna forfeit your career, basically. So I, what, what do you think about that? Do you agree that that is a very real thing that's going to sweep through? I, I do agree. I think that, again, we're not sure exactly how this is going to pan out, but probably the best mental model I've figured out to think about this technology, it's like really talented grads that occasionally go a bit funny. They can draw, they can code, they can make 3D models. How would your business be affected if you could push a button and infinite grads came out? How would your personal life, your society? And this is why I think it's quite deflationary. The only question is, can we create new jobs to make up for that? 